All right, let's just look at the passage. Industrial activity is often assumed to be a threat to wildlife, but that isn't always so. Consider the silver-studded blue butterfly. As forest growth has reduced grasslands in northern Germany, many of these butterflies have left meadow habitats and are now thriving in active limestone quarries. In a survey of multiple active quarries and patches of mainland grassland, an ecologist found silver-studded blue butterflies in 100% of the quarries, but only 57% of the grassland patches. Moreover, butterfly populations in the quarries were four times larger than those in the meadows. So this seems like an exception or an example Ooh, I'm not gonna be able to fit it. Exception um, or example, right? Because what are they doing? They're saying it seems to be bad, but this isn't always so. Here, consider this butterfly. Here's one that's doing well, I guess. So let's see if we get an answer that kind of matches that. Uh, a it challenges a common assumption about the species under investigation in the research referred to in the text. Well, uh, this is a good example of a, a quantifier in disguise, right? It doesn't use the word most, but a common assumption. Do lots of people have opinions about this weird little butterfly? I don't think so. I, I certainly had never heard of it until right now. So it's a common assumption. So um, that, that just bothers me, right? Like we don't know. They would need to say something like that. That's such a strong phrase. And this is why it's really good to train your brain to notice these kinds of common traps like quantifiers. It doesn't seem like a big deal that they're saying that. But that phrase is really a big problem for a choice like A. B, it introduces discussion of a specific example that supports the general claim in the previous sentence. Well, the, the previous sentence is saying it's often assumed that uh, the industrialization is bad for wildlife, but here's an example where it's actually good, and then they continue to talk about the butterfly. I'm pretty sure this is it. It does seem to support the claim that industrialization can be good. Let's look at the other choices, though. We, we always want to be thorough. See, it suggests that a certain species should be included in additional studies, like the one mentioned later in the text. Do they mention... Uh, there's no, why do they say additional studies? It seems like we got enough studies. We get we get the butterfly. We understand it. So no. D provides a definition. No, it doesn't. For an unfamiliar term, what's the term that is central to the main argument in the text? The term is not the butterfly. A term is like a, a vocab word. So the name of a butterfly is not a term or a definition. So it's gone. So there you go. I thought it was an example. There you go. It's an exception to the general rule that industrialization is bad. That part uh, kind of comes up later in that choice, but um, you know, example where it works. Now to be clear though, if they didn't exactly use the word example, I wouldn't be like really bothered. It's nice when my dumb summary kind of appears in a choice, but that doesn't make me automatically pick it. I'm wise enough to know that my dumb summary might kind of also lead me towards a trap. So you got to be careful, right? It's, it's the whole of the choice that matters, not these like individual matches. We got to make sure every piece matches. And so here that happens. But just to be clear, like I'm not picking B just because it says example. Like there's other reasons.